I got a little visitor for you. Oh my god. Are you ready? Oh wow, do they fly or no? Yeah, he's gliding. You're lucky you took a shower today. <laughs> Hello my fellow snippers, flighters, and hatchlings. My name is Marlene McCohen. This right here is Rocky. Hi Rocky, say hi. Say proud bird, yay. That's how Rocky welcomes you to the channel. Look how stunning he is. Just look how stunning he is. Today, we're gonna take Ty Ty out to Long Beach. Do you wanna go Ty Ty? George has to do an install, so my brother and I are gonna take a little tour. Safe with masks and everything as well. Ooh, actually masks from our store, parrotstation.com. Excuse my birds hammering in the back. They've been building a few things for a while now. Hopefully one day it'll get done. Yeah, look, this is, he knows. You wanna go? Go ahead. Yeah, go check everything out. Come on. Silly, this is the way in. Okay, just do like an investigation, maybe a little inspection. Come on, Ty Ty. You wanna go in? Yeah, he wants to go in. He likes his carry-on. My brother and Sio, that's his fiance, take Ty Ty everywhere. So this is gonna be a nice outing. Now Sandy thinks she's going somewhere, which makes me sad because she's not. But Sandy just went on a W-A-L-K, so she's all ready to go. I'm gonna put some of Marlene's signature blends in a little baggie for her. I mean, for him, for Ty Ty. <laughs> you don't need Marlene's signature blend. Are you so sweet? Are you sad you're not going? We shouldn't have cleaned the car. We usually designate one car to like the dogs allowed to be in it because the hair and then I just got it detailed because I took Sandy to my sister's and I'm like I don't want any hair in my Mini Cooper right now. So that was kind of poor planning on our part. So you just saw the first part of preparing, getting the bird in the carry-on. Second thing about preparing is obviously making some food to go. That is Marlene's signature blend. <gasps> How cute is that bag? It's a nice mix of pellets and some seeds for small and large large birds, but without any peanuts or anything like that. I have also in my pocket some almonds for Ty, stuff to keep Ty busy. And I bring a water bottle that, you know, the water won't spill in the car and that I have nice fresh water always for Ty. In case you guys are wondering what it looks like, there's a lot of pellets in there. So it's mostly pellets and there are seeds in there as well. So it smells so good, I'm obsessed with it. Washing my hands for two reasons. That's uh, Merlin. One, I'm a chronic hand washer, especially around animals. Crazy, I know. And two, just because I have celiac, so if I touch anything that might have gluten in it, like the barley from the mix, I just, you know. That's the story. <laughs> what? Merlin's saying, Marla, he wants to go. Well, when you wear a harness, you can go somewhere, okay? Okay, Merlin. in the car. Can't bring Sandy? No. Well, put down a blanket for her. Look, we got one here. But she goes all over the car. She's gonna mess it up in two seconds. Um, you know our hair is gonna get everywhere. He's putting a blanket oh, okay. everywhere. He's gonna sit in the back of her.
for a walk. Ty loves the beach, right, Bogey? Oh, he loves the beach. First time he saw sand, he tried to eat it. He didn't know what it was. But he likes just to go out. He just loves, no matter where it is, as long as it's somewhere that he can go, he's happy. I believe helps them, you know, open their mind a little bit more. Maybe your bird become a little bit more active. And it keeps, the, keeps their mind moving, you know? Because birds go through different types of t terrains when they're out in the wild. They see different things, you know, if they're always stuck at home, you know, they get used to it. And I feel like Ty's personality comes out more when he's walking around and seeing people and different views. It's exciting for people who like birds and never seen birds to be like, oh my God, I love birds. I've never been able to pet one. I get that sometimes. And then I get people that have like, never thought of owning a pet bird and like where did you get it from oh my god how did you know to get one where did you go to get one how do you have one and then you let them touch the bird and pet the bird and then all of a sudden you open their minds from cats to dogs to like oh my god you can own a bird it's a great experience for them especially little kids and the kids touch them and they tell you oh it feels like a pillow or oh my god it's much softer than i thought it would be you know you show them where the bird's nose is you show them where the ears are you show them bald spot on top of his head and how his mohawk goes up do you enjoy that? I enjoy it too. I like to see their, their reactions. The parents seem to be like a little bit, you know, like, oh my God, thank you for taking the time to show my kids. Like you can see sometimes when the kid sees the bird, you can see in their eyes like, oh my God, I would do anything to touch it, you know? Because they think that you're going to say, oh no, you can't pet them or you can't touch them. And then when I come up and I say, hey, do you want to pet them? And I bring the bird down to their level, you see them. Some kids are in shock. And if you get that kid that's like, oh, I'm not touching them, I'm scared. I don't, oh my God, I'm scared, you know. And you get them to interact with the bird and then you switch that tune in their mind that, oh my God, I can't touch them, I'm scared of them. And then all of a sudden their first interaction was like, oh my God, this was amazing, it feels good. So it's an overall better experience, you know. I've had kids run back and like, mommy, I want a bird, I want a bird, I want a bird. I will tell them, hey, you know, it's a lot of work. They need a lot of attention. It's not something you can get excited over for two weeks and and be like, oh my God, I love this bird, I love this bird. And then after two weeks, kind of change that bird's routine and not take it places or not give it as much attention. You can't have like ups and downs. <laughs> yep, you always gotta right. pay attention. They're very emotional. And they can scream when they want something. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Bye -bye. laughs> yep. Actually looks like Conyers, no? Oh, he's walking like a conure. I didn't bring my long lens, but if you live somewhere where there's wild parrots, as explained in my video, and you if you can't see them because I don't have my long lens, but you're trying to identify them, the first thing you want to do to identify what kind of bird it is, is the shape of the tail. So the shape of the tail, if it was a ring neck, it would be long and pointy. Look, guys. That would be the first time I saw Conyers wild, if it is. Sandy wants to hurry because she can't stand that Danny's way ahead. She's obsessed with him. Now we're just kind of chilling, taking in the view. Oh, ah! I just put a hole in my Vinny gang hoodie. Go walk in the flowers, Ty Ty. <laughs> He's like, how can I get it? If he opens it, I'll die. <laughs> what do you say? loves playing with the kids you know the parents are taking out the kids every you know on their weekends and they want the kid to have a day that they'll remember like oh my parents were good to me they took me to the beach this might be a significant thing well they'll talk about for years and the kid will remember like oh i went out with my parents and then we saw that bird and we got to pet him so it's not something that you see every day so it could be like an imprint in their brain it's a memory you know zoo and you get to actually touch the animal. Yep. Are you getting in the car too? Ty Ty. How you doing Ty Ty? She loves you this dog. Her and Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Ooh, that's crazy. Oh yeah. I thought you were on the channel. No we did go on that too but oh, then it was back. Yeah. 
<laughs> Guys, I'm in this awesome vegan restaurant. I got a little visitor for you. Oh my god. Are you ready? How many birds do you have? Yeah. This is mine, I only have one. Okay. She has about eight to ten different. <laughs> eight to ten. Oh wow, do they fly or no? Yeah, he's flighted. You're lucky you took a shower today. <laughs> <laughs> he's oh look, did you hear me? Did you you? my whole day right now. Oh, hi. You can give him a head scratch. There you go. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Wait, is he a YouTuber? Yeah. He's also You're on famous. You're famous. Oh my god. Of course he is. He's famous. <gasps> he Oh my gosh. Is that a TikTok? Yeah, oh dances. my god, I'm gonna follow him. Bye to him, he'll say goodbye. Bye, Ty. 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 Thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. Thank you. You were so sweet on the phone. <laughs> what time is it, Ty? <laughs> Ty, pretty bird. Time for bed? Time for bed. So he's a pretty bird. Good girl. Your girlfriend, Sunny. Sunny, good your girlfriend. Sunny, how dare you? She's my baby, not yours. Look at her, she's so cute. She's so happy. Look she's at her. Why did she get to come? Ty donated his blanket. <laughs> you did! Uh -huh, right. yeah. You donated your blanket yeah, so that Ty like could come. I got baby. Yeah, Ty is a baby. No, I don't think so.